Hey guys, welcome to our Tradeify walkthrough video. Today we're going to take you through all the great features that make Tradeify the fastest and easiest job management software for tradespeople all over the world. If you're looking for a specific feature, please check the bookmarks in our description to skip ahead. Otherwise, sit back as we show you how Tradeify will make running your trade businesses a breeze. Now you're looking at the dashboard where you'll have an overview of how your business is currently tracking. On the left corner, you'll have all of the jobs that are scheduled for the day. You can filter that to just your jobs and you'll see that that's displayed in this map. So you'd be able to map out your route or navigate through your job site. You also have your invoices, quotes, purchase orders and bills sitting in these different statuses and you'd also be able to create new ones from here. Now let's jump into the inquiries. If you wanna manage your potential clients, this is where you'd wanna do that. You have two tabs available, so you know exactly which inquiries you have already actioned. And you also have a to-do list to make sure you won't miss out on anything. Now what we'll do is we'll create a new inquiry. Say we have gotten a phone call from Smith one of our existing clients, and he wants us to install a hate bomb. Now, if you want to send him a quote, we can easily copy this inquiry into a quote. And since Smith is an existing customer, we've got a profile saved. All we'll need to do is use that profile and all the information will automatically pull through from the inquiry stage to the quote stage. Now, if I scroll down, you'll find the line items. So this is where you will break down your quotes. If you break down your quotes by labor plus materials, you can use your time, which is your labor. You can set up different billing rates. We also have your priceless items. If you have a standard supplier or wholesaler where you would normally get your materials from, we can help you import your list of materials into Tradeify. So whenever you're building out your quotes, it will just be a matter of selecting from a drop-down list, which will save you time in having to type them down every single time. Um, now, we also have your kits. So if you have a lot of standard repeated jobs, this will be very useful. It will save you heaps of time down the track and save you from a lot of manual entry. Now, what that does is it basically shows your client the description of the job as well as its lump sum amount. So if I click this button, I'd be able to see um, everything that essentially is relevant to that job from labor to materials. Now, since I'm happy with the kit, I'll remove the labor as well as the one material that we've added there. And we'll preview this quote to see what that looks like before sending that out. Now your quote is customizable. Um, you can add your logo, you can change the color scheme, you can add your terms and conditions, and you can show as much or as little information to your client when you're sending this out that can all be modified under document themes, which we will touch on shortly as well. For now, I'm happy with this quote. I'll go ahead and approve that so it's no longer saved as draft, and I'm now ready to send that to my customer. We can send the quote via email or via text message. If you send that out via email, you can attach files and photos, and your clients will find an accept or decline button when you send it out. Um, let's just say we have gotten a verbal approval, so we can definitely accept that from our end. Now, we do send out automated reminders so you won't have to chase your clients to respond to the quotes that you're sending out. Let's say we have gotten that verbal approval, so we'll go ahead and accept this quote and turn that into a job card. Again, all the code information will automatically be captured in the job card. You can even break your jobs down into smaller tasks if necessary. For now, we'll keep it simple, just that one job that we're ready to schedule in. So we go into our Tradeify calendar, which is color coded based of the staff number that's allocated to the job. So you'd easily be able to keep track of who's working on what. And you're currently looking at your month's work um, 
month's worth of work. We can definitely look at it in different views. So we've got a vertical view as well. Um, and once we're ready to schedule this job in, all we'll need to do is click on the day and time we want that job scheduled for. We allocate the hours, say up until 6 p.m. You can then assign your staff members to work on that job. Apart from staff members, we also have what we call connections. So if you're working with subcontractors, you can simply add their email addresses. This will send them a reminder, or sorry, this will send them an invite to download Tradeify. So they can also access the Tradeify app on their phones, look at the job card and view their schedule. And that's all for free. That's the best thing about it. You won't have to pay for an additional license. You can also send reminders to your customers um, for your upcoming jobs, either via email or via text message. Your text reminders are free for a month um, from your subscription date. They will cost 20 cents per text message thereafter. Let's go ahead and schedule that job in. As you can see, that's already plotted onto the calendar there. And if you want to look at the horizontal view, you can also do that by clicking this icon here. This makes it easier for you to see um, the guys that are working and the schedules that they've got. And if you want to um, rebook a job to another staff member, you can do that by dragging and dropping that as well. Now let's go back into the job card. Within a job card, you can add notes and photos to the jobs or any documents, plans as well. All you'll need to do is click the new note button. You can attach files. And if your guys are on site, they're able to add text notes to keep you um, updated of the job's progress. We also have your time tabs. So if they're on site, they're able to clock in and clock out. They just start the timer. It plays in the background. They can pause while on break or smoke out, stop the timer once they're done with the job. Or they can also just manually enter their start time and their finish time to keep it simple. They can add in notes or leave that blank and it automatically gets captured um, in this section here in terms of total hours as well as the dollar value allocated to that. If you want to keep track of your actual costs against your jobs, you go in the cost section. So if the materials that you've coded are exactly the same as your actual costs, all you will need to do is copy the materials that you've entered from your quote, and it would just break that down in the actual cost here. So from here, you'll be able to see your material costs as well as your profit for this particular job. We also have your forms and certificates. Now, forms and certificates vary depending on where you're at. Whether you're in Australia or New Zealand, we offer different kinds of forms. Now, what I'll show you real quick is an example of what a SWIMS form would look like in Australia. Obviously, you can fill out all these information before a job or when you're on site, you just have this checklist and you can also sign off on the SWIMS form. Scroll further down, you'd see all that information and you can also have your worker sign to that as well. Once you approve that, we can also preview what that swim should look like. So you can see, I'll just zoom that in a little bit. You'll see all that information, that checklist, and the signature of your reviewer plus your workers on site. Now let's go back to the job card and let's create a purchase order for this job on here. If you want to send out a purchase order to your supplier, you can create that against a job card as well, which would make it easier for you to keep track of your costs down the track. So if we will be purchasing, say, a heat pump from Bunnings, all we'll need to do is add a priceless item. 
again, their list of materials would have already been saved in our, you know, priceless library and Tradeify. So all we'll need to do is again, select from a drop down list and send that purchase order across to Bunnings via email. Once we have gotten the um, supplier's invoice or once we have received the material, we can then copy that purchase order into a bill. So we can actually attach this cost against the job card. So once I approve the bill, the system will prompt me to copy the bill into the costs of the job. So if I do that, and if I go back to my job card into the cost section, you'll see that there's an additional heat pump that we've purchased for this job there. Now, once we're ready to invoice, say we're done with the job, all we'll need to do is create a new invoice from the job card. In Tradeify, you have different ways of invoicing your clients. You can invoice from time and materials if you do a lot of reactive charge up jobs. What this does is it just automatically captures the time and the materials that you entered or you can invoice from a quote. In this case, since this is a quoted job, we will invoice from a quote. If you would require deposit down payment, you can do that in Tradeify, pretty easy to do. Just select the um, quoted um, document for this job and you just add in the percentage, it automatically calculates it for you. For now, we'll keep it simple. We will just invoice the entire quote amount. We have the ability to condense the kit into a single line item, or we can break down the details to our clients in the invoice stage. For now, I'll choose to break that down so my clients see everything that this job entails. And again, I'll preview that invoice to see what it looks like before I approve that and send that out to my client. And I'm pretty happy with that. All the invoices that you create in Tradeify and approve in Tradeify will automatically sync across to your accounting package if you're using QuickBooks Online, Xero, or MYUB account right or essentials, which will then help you streamline your whole process between the two platforms. And you will still have the ability to send the invoices from Tradeify. It can again either be via email or via text message. So once we send that through, we also have an integration with Stripe. So if you would like your clients to make payments online, all you will need to do is create a free Stripe account and allow credit card payments. So we can integrate their Stripe account with Tradeify. How that works is that when you send out this invoices to your client, they will see a pay now button in the invoice. They click on that, it will take them to a secured payment portal and it makes it convenient for both you and your client to you know, make and receive payments for the jobs that you've done. Apart from that, we also have payment reminders so you won't have to chase your clients for payments. We can do that for you via email and via text message as well. And that's pretty much the whole flow of your jobs from start to finish. What we'll do now is we'll take you through one of our newest features, the website. Now, if you already have a website, sorry, we will just turn that off so we can move forward to the website. If you have got a website already and if you're not happy about it, or if you don't have a website yet and you're just starting out your own business, definitely take advantage of our website um, product here. It's only $19 a month on top of your subscription on Tradeify. Now, this is what a website in Tradeify would look like. It is pretty simple and obviously super easy to customize. All you will need to do is upload your photo, your logo, your business, the description of your business and what services you provide. It's pretty much that. And your clients can contact you via the inquiry form. And these would be the pictures of the work that you've done. Again, the services that you provide, any testimonials for your clients from your um, previous clients. And obviously when any potential clients go into your website, they can just fill out all these information. And again, these information will be captured in the inquiry stage, um, which would be 
you know, which would make it easier for you to manage any potential customers that are coming through um, on your website traffic. Now we'll go into the settings page real quick. Um, three of the most important things you want to set up to get the ground running on Tradeify would be firstly your billing rates. This is how much you will be charging out your clients per hour. We also have your pricing levels, which will be your margin for your quotes, the invoices that you're sending out. So you'll be able to keep track of your profit down the track. If you charge differently for the different types of clients that you're working for, you can allocate different margins to the different quotes, invoices you're creating for your customers. We also have your document themes. So this is, like I mentioned earlier, where you can create multiple layouts um, for the documents that you're sending out pretty much from Tradeify. So you've got, you know, your invoices, your quotes, your purchase orders and bills, as well as your job service reports. And you will see all these toggle buttons because you can show as much or as little information when you're sending out these documents to your clients. Lastly, I would like to show you what a job service report in Tradeify looks like. So if we enter one of the existing um, jobs that we've got here, we'll go into the job service report. We'll go ahead and create a new one. And as you can see, all of the information from the job card will automatically pull through in the job service report. So if you want to get your clients to sign off on your job cards, this is the way to do so. All you'll need to do is send that via email. They will find an accept or decline button as well, just like your quote. If your guys are on site, they're able to essentially get a digital signature from your client just by handing over the job service report digitally. And again, it is automatically attached to your job card. So everything is all organized in that one folder of your job. Awesome. Well, there you have it. I'll just go back quickly into the jobs list here. So you'll see a view of all the jobs that you've got going on on Tradeify, sitting in these different statuses. And that's the look at how Tradeify can streamline the running of your trade businesses. Now, if you want to see how this can benefit your business, I highly suggest you start a 14-day free trial. Just go into our website, tradeifyhq.com, and one of our Tradeify experts will get in touch with you to help you out. Make sure it's a good fit for your business and potentially run you through on a one-on-one -on -one if you've got any more questions. All right. Thank you for your time and have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.